um, below where it says background removal. I definitely suggest that you guys use this. I use this religiously. It's, it's remove.vg forward slash upload. So if I were to take a picture of myself right now and just pointed at the screen, I literally go to that, that website and I hit a button, it downloads it, it removes my whole outline. So I can use it and I'll show you an example of that. Um, if you guys, I just wanna make sure that everybody has this information. Everybody have this information? Let me take a picture. Okay, that's fine. And I also use the, the QR code. I, I love those for open houses and things like that. Um, I, I'm kind of, I, I go back and forth on sign-in sheets. Sometimes I don't wanna do that. People don't wanna sign in. So I'm like, hey, just take a picture of this and at least it gives me some information, right? Most, most of our buyers, they're just looky-loos typically at an open house, so they don't wanna give their name or sometimes they give you names that are probably not suitable for me to say over the microphone right now. But it is what it is. Um, that's our industry, so love it or hate it, we're there. So, um, all right, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit about, and I've gotta kinda click back and forth on this. A, this was something I created just about, about a week ago. It was very, very simple, okay? That was a picture that I actually took at the um, build conference last week, right? I, I, I did a horrible job at the pixelation on it. I could have cleaned it up, but I was in a hurry and because I was at the build conference and I was getting ready for this trip in Puerto Rico. So, but it, it really doesn't matter because people are not thinking about just pixelation and being perfect, right? We're not trying to be perfect all of the time. Just you're being different, right? That's what we're unique about everything. So this literally, something like this is very, very simple. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys actually kind of how to recreate this. And it's very, like I said, it's very, very simple. Canva is, they, they've got, Make sure you guys can see everything, okay. They have post, Instagram post, videos, you can do YouTube, you can do d logo design, newsletters. Um, I've actually done my newsletter. This is a newsletter that I do um, on a weekly basis. And if you look at this, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, this is something that goes out to um, a, a list of people that I've done business with, family and friends that I send out every Thursday. And I've got on here, like I do this weekend, you know, this is something that really generates some type of, you know, engagement with my buyers and sellers. They don't, half of the time, I don't think they read some of this other stuff, but I do know they, they read this weekend. They want to know what's going on this weekend. So whatever you want to encourage your buyers or sellers, just your, the people that you influence, I would definitely suggest doing something similar. Now I've heard, meeting with a lot of you guys over this last few days, I've heard great, great ideas. And I probably won't implement them myself, but I know that you guys can do this part of it very, very easily because you know your audience, right? And that's what it's about, is knowing your audience and kind of just engaging with them. Um, yes. Do you pretty well keep the same template every time and just change the content, or do you do something every, like something different? I I keep this the exact same. I change where this is highlighted right here. Uh -huh. I I mean, I'll be honest, guys. It is so easy. I mean, I'm not the greatest at it. So if I could screw it up, I would screw it up. I'll just be honest. So what I did on this, just on this one, for example. It was realtor.com. I pulled it off of their information and I send this to my KV Core account, right? So that they click on it and now I've got their information. If they're looking at, you know, I mean, I'm not looking for buyers or sellers at this point. I'm just trying to engage with my audience. I mean, that's really all it is. So that's what I do. But to answer your question, yes, the, the two, you know, 2021, all of my logo, all of that stays the same. The cool thing about Canva is up here where I've got current homes, and you see how they're underlined, right? That's a direct link that I've set up so that 
every single one of these, like Midtown, South Tulsa, Bigsby, all of those towns or areas, that is an active listing that all the active listings and they go as soon as they click on it it goes directly to that so it's it's really easy for them right and that's what we're trying to do is make it easy for our people that's that's all we're trying to do we're not trying to recreate the will we're just trying to make it easy they could go to zillow they could go to realtor.com you know they're t most of them don't go to the mls but it's easier if they say oh bigsby click and they go there and they're like oh these houses are th that wasn't on the market last week now it is so it's, it is very, very simple. And all I did was create a, you know, a link to it and I just share it. That's it. No, um, yes. Well, I use my website. Oh, okay. So I use like Jason Gilbert. Um, well, it's Jason Gilbert at exp realty or Jason W Gilbert.com. And I, I just click on a search and then I, whenever it pulls up the address, then I copy and paste it. So then it's right there. So it automatically goes back to my website. Gotcha. So every single time, it's just, it's, it captures it and it comes back to my website. I want it always redirected back to me, right? So that I can see that. And I mean, it, it's worked. I mean, I've, ha I've had 12 leads in, I think the first week just off of this. So this has been a real gem for me because it's like fix it and forget it almost. I have to just tweak it and put, you know, put some type of information in it. That's really all I'm doing. So it's, it's not something that, you know, it takes a lot of time. I knocked this out in like, I think it was like seven or eight minutes. So once you get it done, it is very, very simple. So I don't have a whole lot of time, but guys, I'm just telling you, there's, there's so much to unpack with, with this. I mean, and if you don't have Canva, it's only like $13 a month or $12.95 a month. So it is the best. You know, I've worked for brokerage that actually give you, you know, they design it and everything like that, you know, for you. But the problem with that is, is everybody gets the same thing. You know, they're just putting their plug and play in your photo, your information in there. And sometimes they get it right. Sometimes I get it wrong. But, you know, I've had my name misspelled before. Do you mainly do it from your phone or computer? I, I do it on my on my laptop or my computer at home, but you can do it over your phone. Um, it's it's a little more friendly, I think, with with your, you know, with your computers just because it's, you know, it's it's a, it's just easier for me now. That's, that's a great question. You can actually do this stuff from your phone. I've done it from open houses before. I've done videos and just put really cool, you know, information. You can put, you know, I mean, Facebook Live and all that, that's great. And it works, but this looks more professional, right? I mean, you can do things and if it's a Facebook Live, a lot of people don't care, right? It's gonna, it's gonna be gone in 24 hours or whatever anyways. But if it's gonna be something like YouTube, I mean, I like trying to make it look professional as possible. So, it's the, really, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking too, like, I want, you could create a few of these and send them through KB4 to our, you know, our past clients and make it JG Luxury Real Estate, yeah. investors, like, just, you can really target you can, different areas. Uh, uh, yeah, and, you and can tweak it and make it however. All right. Does anybody have questions on the, like the newsletters? I do have a yep. question. Okay. I tried to do this for Micah because I use Canva for pretty much everything. The whole presentation is done in Canva for mm -hmm. Micah's whole thing. Um, so it's a great thing to use. Like I agree. But when I make a newsletter with live links, I what do you download that to share it? Because when I do it, you can't click the links after it's downloaded on my computer. Okay. So. It, sometimes it depends on what format you put it as. Like sometimes, like I'm, I'm kind of bad about this. Sometimes I'm just, I want to do it quickly, and I'll just put like Instagram, and and it's it's a different size format. So just check and see what format that you actually have. It could be maybe you need to be like a YouTube format, and it gives the hyperlink, and you're okay with it. Save it. Yeah. So you save it to your computer, like download it, and then upload it. Or yes. It? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, another thing, um, I just started using. Who did I? I, I had my computer. That's not my computer. Um, uh, what is the name of the company? They do like mass emails. 
but I just started using Mail that. Chimp? What is it? Mailchimp? No, but it's it's like that. Okay. It, it is bon like. Bon? No, I did I did use Bonbon bon for about a year. <laughs> One of those. It, it's it's like that, um, but but I can see who actually opens it. Yeah. And so I started doing that, and that, that's how I noticed that I had like 12 people, like boom, like they're opening it, and some of those like reread it, you know. Like constant contact. Constant contact. Yeah. Thank you, Paige. <laughs> we were using, we're starting using the broker kit, which I'll, I'll present here in a little bit. Awesome. I can also see who reads my emails. <laughs> She's watching. Yeah. What's that? What was it called? Con constant contact. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it really I mean it, it's affordable, you know, and you get to you get to see like I said who opens it and I mean and people sometimes they're just, you know, I've got new people that'll unsubscribe to it and that's fine. You know, it's somebody that I don't really engage with. So, you know, I get that all the time. But I do have several that do engage. So you don't get that with KB Core? You can't see if they open it? I think you can, but I don't think it gives you the detail okay. that the constant right oh, okay. right it'll show like they read it right okay. right so yeah for sure for sure and I mean that's just you know I'm I'm open to change right I mean we're agents we kind of have to be that way right yeah. so I mean it's that's something that I, I try to evolve and get better as I go and you know, I mean, I just started this this year. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I know for a fact that this is working for me. And, I mean, if it's working for me, it can work for anybody. So, they have a free version, too, right? Like, they do have a free version, but you don't get the all of the bells and whistles with it. So, yeah, it's, worth it. It, it's well <laughs> worth it. Because I'll show you. There, there's a few things in here that, um, all right, so this is just basically like a, a short video that I did. And you can, you can design so many different features in this. You've got audio, if you want to have music, like I've got the ukulele song in here, right? Um, and I'll just do a, like a short, this is what it actually looks like after I created it. And like I said, guys, you can do something like this within 15, 20 minutes, easy. Yeah. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. well, it's great. There it is. I'm new to Apple. Oh. Okay. Now, I did this video, like I said, last week, and I shared it to, I think, about, I think it was about 5,000, like, I had 5,000 views on it, and it was very, very simple, right? And it was just kind of a, you know, something very, very simple, and People are like, oh, I love that, right? Where, which, where did you put it, though? Like on YouTube? I, I put it on Facebook. I, I emailed it to people. Um, you know, I tagged people in it. But it's really just just trying to come kind of a, from an organic place, right? I mean, you're, you're just trying to be unique. And I mean, like I said before, like we're all agents. We all have a unique perspective on the way we, we do business, right? And that's, that's what I love about Canva is we get to express that, right? We're not, we're not a, a built in a box. And that's, that's something that, I mean, me personally, I, I hate that. So, I've, you know, you don't put Jason in a box. So, but when they take a picture of your code, their information goes in, their address and phone number? No, that actually, that's just my, my QR code. So that actually, that's my contact information. So literally, I've got probably 50 or 60 of those that I do. Sometimes I do them for like my open houses. Um, and you can do down to the specifics where you actually can put their e email address, like you get their contact information. You can do, um, you know, I've got it to my website. I've got to my email, my phone number. Um, I, I've... You can do it for anything, you know? I mean, you can do it to send them to a forum to go to the next step, right? I mean, I've seen that I haven't done that personally, but I know of an agent, a friend of mine, that she does that. She is literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. And what she does is she's just like, take a picture, they fill it out. They take a picture, they do this. They take a picture and they do that. And it's amazing they do it. Well, I think that 
people enjoy that because they're kind of interacting. They're not just filling it out, right? They have something involved in it and it makes it easier for them to remember, right? They can just be like, oh, I don't have to worry about this paperwork. They can just take a picture and it pulls up on their phone. And I mean, everybody's on their phone now, so it really makes it just a simpler process. And you know, everybody in here knows the home buying process is not an easy process, especially for the buyers. And once you break it down, I mean, that you're just making it easy for them. And I mean, they, my buyers love me, right? Because I make it an easy process. I make it where they can't screw it up. And if they do, then it's on me. And I tell them that, look, I'm gonna make this easy as possible for you. I've got you, I'm gonna hold your hand the entire way, right? And I, I know everybody in here probably does the same thing. So I know I'm not special when it comes to that, but it, but it is actually, that's, that's the way I operate. And I mean, I hope most of you guys do too. So, um, all right. So does anybody have questions on how to do like a presentation, like something like this? This, I'm not gonna save it, but it'll, you can, when you click download right here, I'm gonna actually click on it and it'll show you. So it's got an MP4, okay. and then there's other things that you can do. I mean, obviously that's just gonna be like a picture of it, right? So those, those are. Oh, you got a GIF. You can make it a GIF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or GIF. I say that, that's, that's debatable. <laughs> All right, so. That's, that's just over kind of a short video that I, like I said, I did. There's, this was actually the picture that I took at, well, we don't want to add that. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. I haven't. Um, she asked if you can use audio um, elsewhere, right? Or like import it from somewhere else. Because like I didn't realize Canva had the audio. I do believe that you can, you can okay. bring your own audio if you download it. Um, I personally haven't. I use just, I mean, I, like I said, I'm easy with the stuff. I mean, it's to me, it's something I can do. And it's a matter of, like I said, five or 10 minutes. Some things take a little bit longer but it really, you know, it speeds up the process. So, I mean, I'm sure you can do that. If you have it on your computer, then there's, there's a way that you can download it on there, as long as it is in that format. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so, like I said, you can, do, you can do flyers. I do all of my flyers on, on Canva. Um, they do have, sorry, this is like, I don't know why this is so, Maybe it's just because it's, or maybe I screwed that up before. <laughs> I probably did. Sometimes mine does that. Yeah, I don't know you why. Open it up from your phone or your computer and it just yeah, I don't know why it's, it. yeah. I know they didn't print that way, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the, exactly. So th this was a, a new, new listing that I had um, in Broken Arrow. And. You know, this is something very, very simple. Now, I have not, they offer print services. Now, I have not done the print services because I use like Office Depot because it's really cheap and I know that I can go there and pick it up. So um, I use kind of a template on most of, most of my listings and this is it. So I just plug and play. I change the pictures out. I may move a few things, you know, the property features, the details. I obviously we change those out and just add. Um, sometimes I do a little more pictures. It just depends. You know, I've got one, I think that was a lake and I just added a little more. Sometimes I do a front and back. So it's just really up to you. I mean, really what the home deserves and what you feel like, you know, is going to work best for you guys. Yes. Okay. That, that's a great question. Um, so what I do typically for open houses, um, and this is, you know, it, it, my listing or not, um, if I'm doing an open house, they get my flyer, right? They're not, they're not getting whoever is, you know, if I'm not the listing agent, then I'm gonna, I'm still representing myself, right? So I typically go, 
10, 10 on each side. I mean, as long as they have that many houses, right? 10 on each side and then 20 across. And I go door knock usually about, about two hours before when I'm putting up my signs. Now, I will tell you, I feel like I'm totally lazy now after listening to Brent Gove because Brent just said 30 and I'm like, holy that's that's uh, he's at seven hours you know i'm like i'm thinking four or five hours and you know but i've got to step up my game obviously so that'll be something i'll do now i'll probably do 40 probably 40 houses now i'll probably do you know 20 and maybe maybe even more i don't know um yeah 10 on each side is my my normal 10 on each side of the house and then 20 across the street so and I'll, I'll go and door knock and I'll invite the neighbors and let them, you know, let them know that I've got an open house and I would love to get their feedback on it because the, the one thing, you know, this isn't really camera related, but the one thing I will tell you I've done is whenever I do that, you're engaging with the neighbors, right? And I've actually got a listing out of this. So because they're like, oh, you're the first person that's ever actually door knocked and told me about the open house. We just see the signs. So you're engaging with them, right? And, and it's kind of like an audition anyways. You're, 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 you're treating it like, okay, you're trying to get their next neighbor. You know, you want to get them a good quality neighbor, right? So they're going to be coming over and giving you opinions. I mean, I've had some that are just like, whew, man, I'm glad I don't live here, you know. <laughs> but, but it is what it is. You know, I don't live there, so, I'll, but I am selling their house. So, you know, I do my best. So it, it's really... You know, I, I do I, I do like the way Brent put that is I mean he's out there, right? He's out there working, he's putting thirty signs or whatever it was. I mean, honestly guys, I put two or three. So I mean that's you know, and you know, you put ten? That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean, I was actually when he said that I already I already sent my people, my printers, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna need to get about twenty signs so that I can get this, you know, um, and I'll show you, this is the open house sign that I just created about, about two weeks ago, I think it was. So it's a little different, right? Um, it's something that I, I wanted it to be different. You know, I have the typical sign that's open house, but I wanted it to pop, right? Um, yeah, thank you. So, no, no, I didn't say I was holding the open house from 10 to 6. Hold up, hold up. We don't have this on camera, do we? <laughs> Two to four. <laughs> right, no kidding. So, I mean, but, you know, and hey, I may. I tell you what, if I start getting 20, 30 people in, I'll change, I'll change my hours. You know, I have no problem with that. As long as I'm busy, I'm not just sitting there twiddling my thumbs all day long. You know, it's a Sunday. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I mean, you know, and it, it, it depends on your listing. I mean, it really does. If you have like a really shitty listing, then it's, you know, it, it's not, I mean, but I may still have to put out 30 signs because, you know, you got, you just need one buyer. That's it. So, so um, does anybody have any questions on like doing this part of it? No? Okay. I mean, it, it's, it's, like I said, you guys, you can't really screw it up. I, I would definitely take, you know, if you haven't downloaded it, download it, you know, pay the $13 and just play with it. Cause I guarantee you, you're going to sit there and mess it with it for hours. I did this. I've got another business that I had previously. Um, it's in the auto racing industry and it changed my business. Like within, I would say about a week and a half, I would say 10 days. And it was because I started advertising, I started doing my own marketing, and I started blasting it on Facebook. I don't really do that business anymore because I don't really have to. But, I mean, I still love it. But it's really, whenever I did that, I mean, I, I would put it on Facebook. And I had, like, the guy that won that weekend. It was a circle track racing type of deal. And I would say, congratulations to so-and-so for their win. Well, it got psychologically in everyone's head that... They're like, oh, they must have been running X Factor bushings or X Factor Motorsports products. That was my, that's my company. So not all of them were, you know, it first started off, they were, but some of them weren't, but I still was congratulating them. And I would have seven, 8,000 people clicking and liking on it, you know, I'm like, oh my God, you know, 
that doubled my business, literally, because I was working a nine to five, that doubled my business. I quit my job two months because I went from making like 40, I think 45,000 to making like 56,000 within, I think I was four, it was under five months. So, and it's a, it's, it's basically a seasonal deal, right? So, but I mean, I knew that I wanted to get into real estate. So that was kind of the precursor to me getting into real estate. I'm like, okay, now I'm, you know, now I learned how to do this. So, I mean, I love marketing. I love it. So, I mean, it's, it's how to separate yourself, right? So it's just every time you want to do something uniquely, just, you know, you can hop on here and say, okay, well, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And you just make it your own. So it's really, you know, if you haven't downloaded this and I'm not sure who asked me, I think Sarah asked me, or I'm not really sure. Someone asked me about doing it on your phone. You, you can do it on your phone. It's just a little tougher, right? Because you can't do, I don't think you can see everything like you can on your computer. Um, it's a little, it's just, to me, it's, it's, I can spend probably 30 minutes on my phone doing it versus 10 minutes on my computer just because I see everything. So it's a lot easier for me. Um, so let me go back. Thank you. Thank you. I try to I try to clean up it, nice it, it, and edit. It looks like you're a boss. Yeah. Right? It does. Like, like, I have to have you lift my heart. <laughs> well, hey, I'm available. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I created this, like the QR codes. I gave you guys that. Uh, actually, did you guys get all of that information, the QR code information? Okay. Okay. I didn't get it. Okay. Well, if you guys want to follow me on social media, please follow me on social media. Actually, I'm not going to just say do it. So, but please follow me on social media. If you guys ever need anything, you know, we're in this group together. I would love to help you. I'm, I'm seriously 100% here to help any one of you guys. So you're very welcome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Jason Gilbert yes. on Facebook? Yes. And then what is the QR code at? The T-Town Realtor. Hey, there we go. Right? Is it an Um, The QR code? Uh-huh. Here, I'll go back. Does everybody get this? Free QR code. Yeah, I've got, I'll, I'll, I'll put it back up. Did everybody get this information? Yeah. All right. If not, take a picture of it. You can do the QR code. I already followed it. <laughs> All right, everybody good? Um, let's see. Well, okay, so I, I try to post at least once or twice a day. I mean, it depends. depend on where I post. So I don't share everything on, like, my business page because I've got a business page, right, through Facebook. And I've also got, you know, Instagram. I've got a personal page on Facebook, um, Twitter. I don't do much on Twitter. I probably should do more on Twitter, but I don't. Um, Your followers are like increasing. Awesome. <laughs> like by the minute. Yeah, awesome. Keep following. Um, but I mean, rule of thumb, three to four a day. But the, 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 the thing is, and like I was just talking to Hamoudi about this, I'm bad about settling in, right? I get busy. You know, I don't do like Ruben, which I, I will. You know, if you guys follow me after I get back to Tulsa, it will change, I promise you. I will do more Instagram lives. I will do more, you know, more social media because I get 5 a.m. Damn, you guys are putting me in a box, man. <laughs> Dang it. I, I, we weren't drinking, were we? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll do five o'clock. I'll do five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to go back to that, that other, if I can get back there and give you guys the, the kind of quick tips. There it is.
that's the QR code generator. Like I said, you're welcome. The, the background removal is a lifesaver because like I showed you that one that I did, you know, with them looking at the, the MacBook. I mean, that literally took me 10 minutes to make that. And I had, I think it was like five or six agents within 15 minutes, you know, oh, that's so cool. How did you do that? And I was like, you know, Canva, you know, so I've actually got, you know, JB and I have talked about it. You know, we, we kind of, we've done this with some of our agents in the Tulsa market and, you know, kind of shown them, you know, but the thing is with Canva is they're constantly updating. So like the stuff that I knew two years ago, when, I, when Micah asked me to do this, I had to go back and look and, and realize all of the new things that they've updated. And it's, it's freaking awesome. I mean, it really is. The, the best $12, $13 that you can spend as an agent is right there in my opinion. So does anybody have any other questions? No? <laughs> exactly. Don't just buy it, actually use it. Yes. Yeah. And, and if you- I'm and, talking to myself because I paid $100 <laughs> for the business one and I was like, uh. And I, I did want to say this, you can actually share it with your teams. If you have teams, you can share it and you can do templates and you can share it with them. So it, it makes it a lot easier if you want something you know, that has your team and your logo and everything like that with it, you can just simply email it and it, it's a template and they can just change it and put their name on it and put their house or what have you. So, all right, well guys, well thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you.